Hello everyone. Um, my name is Ingolf Bragg Gunnarsson. I'm the head of cultivation at Algalif Iceland. Yeah, thanks. So I'm here today to talk to you about uh, the Asta something we produce in uh, in, in Iceland. Um, so what we do um, is that we produce Asta something in uh, photobioreactors um, indoors, which is uh, different to many uh, what many of the other producers are doing. Um, so what we do is that we use our 100% uh, renewable uh, geothermal energy to power our plant. Uh, we only use the highest quality of materials for our cultivation. So we produce natural astaxanthin from a microalgae called uh, Haematococcus pluvialis. And this is kind of the benchmark organism for, for producing astaxanthin uh, today. Um, natural astaxanthin is uh, kind of in, in some respects competing against synthetic, but I think uh, as he uh, touched upon a little bit here before me is that the synthetic form of astaxanthin has completely different chemical properties as to when you compare it to the natural form. Um, the natural form of astaxanthin, especially from uh, microalgae, uh, Haematococcus pluvialis, is superior in, uh, in, uh, in its antioxidant activity, as well as stability and, and bioavailability. Um, the, the, control, uh, the quality control system we have in place uh, at Algalif is uh, very thorough. Uh, we meet all the parameters that our customers are, are, are looking for, and we are CGMP compliant. Uh, our products are 100% natural, like I said. Uh, we have halal and kosher certification and uh, non-GMO, of course. Um, uh, yeah, we, we pride ourselves uh, a lot about uh, using 100% renewable energy, and, and that, of course, is one of Iceland's uh, strong suits. Um, having the cultivation indoors is, of course, quite energy intensive. Uh, and, and this kind of cultivation can only be done in, 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 uh, in very few countries in the world. So our um, being in Iceland is uh, really a, a, a great thing for us. So we're able to have a very sustainable business and we care a great deal about the environment. So one of the downsides of cultivating astaxanthin, for example, outside or, or, or in, uh, in big ponds, like some uh, producers do, is that those systems are often open to the elements. So you can have contamination coming from the environment into the, into the cultures. And the strong factor of having the, the closed PBRs is that we have total contamination control and cultivation control of, uh, of our systems. So we can track every single parameter way back and our control, uh, quality control system allows us even to track any contamination happens way back. So by having these, of course these systems are smaller than the, the, the big systems we have outside or un our competitors have outside. But having smaller systems is uh, a strong suit I would say because it gives us, uh, we can focus much mo more on the quality side and having small batches is, um, uh, in our case, increases the quality of our product because we can, we can track each system uh, through its process. So in Iceland, we run our production using 100% LED. So um, all our cultivation is, is done using LED technology. And we actually uh, specifically designed the, the spectrum for each phase in our production process. So uh, algae going from growth, growth phase into, into red phase, and we change the light spectrum as it goes through the different uh, phases of production. And thereby, we're able to uh, maximize, uh, the, maximize the potential of the algae. And we've been able to, uh, I think the, the benchmark in the literature was usually around 5% as to something. We've been able to push that even above 7%. So I think that must be some kind of a world record. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, 
I think that's it. So thank you for your attention. And we're exhibiting along with AIC, which is our um, exclusive um, partner here in North America. So please come to the booth if you have any questions or yeah, I can answer your questions right now if you, if you have any. Just wanted to open the floor to questions yeah. if there may be any right now for any of our panel members. What is this that you're carving exactly? What are the properties? And yeah, so um, do you know what Astra something is? No. So you know, uh, salmon fillet usually, I use this story usually when I'm explaining what Astra something is to somebody who doesn't know. So salmon, uh, the fillet of the salmon is pink because of Astra something. So salmon eats uh, small crustaceans uh, uh, and po possibly some, some uh, microorganisms that contain Astra something. As the sun is then uh, distributed in the flesh of the in the salmon, and colors the the flesh pink. So, actually, if if salmon would not get an, any as the sun, the flesh would just be white or gray. Uh, so, as the sun is an antioxidant, so it quenches reactive oxygen species like uh, singlet oxygen or or uh, harmful um, excited particles that can damage, for example, uh, fat tissue. Uh, in or in the lipid bilayer of cells. So as the something acts, uh, acts like a protective chemical uh, protecting um, substances or, or, or cell tissue uh, from damage. Uh, 